Carbon dioxide is the number one destroyer of the environment, and that's clear to see here in India. Emissions permits have been introduced in an effort to clean the air. They work like currency. One permit buys one ton of CO2 emissions. Every factory in the EU must buy permits in return for emitting a certain level of CO2. The less carbon dioxide a company emits, the less they have to pay. The big culprits of pollution, like the steel industry, have to buy a lot of certificates. But because they're so cheap at the moment, this hardly acts as a deterrent. Prices have fallen dramatically. A single permit currently costs about five euros for each ton of carbon dioxide, so polluting is cheap. Michel Krunert of Berlin works in the emissions trading business. His customers are made up of industrial firms, banks and investment companies. We ask him if it's possible for him to print a certificate so we can see one. No, emission permits are virtual, like money in your bank account. You can't get it as a certificate. This makes it an abstract concept, which lends itself to speculation. Krunert doesn't usually lose sleep over these things, but even he is disappointed in the price crash. As a socially aware person, I'm shocked, because the price collapse is breaking the entire system. It counteracts the idea behind it. So why are emissions permits so cheap at the moment? Because there were too many on the market in the first place. When they were first introduced, many were given out for free. Environmental organizations want to send prices back up and give the permits a purpose. A reduction in the number of permits available is absolutely necessary to make emissions trading an instrument for protecting the environment. We believe that a reduction of more than two billion would be needed. Steel Federation Wirtschaftsvereinigung Stahl doesn't quite see eye to eye. If the amount of permits was reduced further, the cost of emissions trading would rise even more. In order to protect the competitiveness of the industry, politics would do well to abandon such deliberations. The economic crisis is also responsible for the low prices from which the steel industry is currently profiting. Less was being produced overall, and so fewer permits were needed. It's an injustice in terms of the environment. We can see that emissions are not being reduced, so greenhouse gases have to be cut. Emissions trading isn't working, and that's mainly because nobody is being compelled to use it to protect the climate. Another consequence of cheap emissions permits is less money for other forms of climate protection, such as wind energy plants. Developing countries need help in protecting the environment, but the money is currently lacking. Furthermore, climate killers such as lignite are a more attractive option than using renewable energy. Is there still hope for saving the environment?